Then the third and final curriculum is the book of Revelation. Prophecy. Where God showed us from here to the end. There are 12 reasons for that book. Hmm. If you know the power of foresight when you have it, if you know what it means, you will know the value of prophecy. That's not the only proposal. One of the things God did by giving us the book of Revelation, Bishop, we are going to face the judgment seat of Christ. The world will face the white throne judgment. Eh? So Jesus in prophet Acts John, he said, pick seven strategic churches he picked. He wanted to represent, the word seven means completion, to represent the whole church. Because John did not write a letter to the Corinthians. He didn't write to the Galatians. But they were there. Why didn't you write? Even Jerusalem church, he didn't write. He just write to the seven churches in Asia. And he picked them. Jesus was trying to write a message to the church world. And this is the message. This is the exam you're going to be facing the day you stand before me. These are the question papers. And there are seven exams. These are the answer scripts. This is the marking script. Use the marking script and the question to order your life now. So you don't come that day and face shock. I'm going to deal with that if God permits in this conference. It's no more letters to the seven churches. It's letters to the church in Africa. It's letter to the Nigerian church. Because the exact question is what we are tumbling over today. That book will save you from shame on the door of judgment. That book will save you from ending up in the wrong place on the door of judgment. Do you see Jesus laid the foundation while he was on earth. Brought the, prof, the apostles to do for the people of New Testament what the prophets did for the Old Testament after Moses had gone. So the apostles picked up from where he stopped. But then look at what he did. He came again at the ending and appeared for his resurrected status to show how it will end. He said, I started it. I'm the one that will end it. The apostles are in between. So if you are interpreting anything, any apostles wrote, look at it from my teaching and look at it from the end script and you will know whether you are right or wrong. Let me take one thing and show you. There are people reading Pauline epistles and saying that a believer cannot go to hell so they are busy misbehaving you go to the book of revelation he threatened two churches one he said i will remove your name from the book of life if you don't repent the other one he said whosoever overcome will not be hurt by second death and the bible explains what second death the same book that is going to the lake that burn it with fire and brimstone He's not writing to unbelievers. He's writing to his bride. To his own church. Because if you go to his teachings. He already said it. He said not everybody who calls me Lord, Lord. Will end up there. It is those that do the will of my father which is in heaven. Christianity it's not a professing thing only. If your profession does not have action, you've missed the roads. You're a professing Christian only. You're not making heaven until you become a practicing Christian. 